my husband had passed away and I moved to this area. I didn't have a job and didn't have health insurance and they provided that care for me um, until I became eligible for Medicare. Well, I don't always go in knowing that I'm gonna be emotional <laughs> and um, sometimes I leave that way and um, they have always asked if there's anything they can pray with me about or um, do I need prayer for anything and I've accepted that a lot of times. It, it means a lot, it really means a lot that you know they they just know me as a patient, they don't know my personal life, they don't know my personal story and situations um, and it means a lot that they that they care and that that they do want to you know pray with me and offer prayer and um, I've taken them up on that pretty much every time. Over the years, I've tried to invite him to church and talk to him about my faith and the peace that I have found and the love that I have found. And I'm the baby sister, so nobody listens to me, and I couldn't convince him to come to church or to even listen. So my heart sunk thinking my brother was going to face this cancer and not have any peace in his life. Because of one of the medications being very pricey, Chet worked very hard in getting a um, pharmaceutical assistance because of my low income in order to help with that very pricey medication. And he was able to get that for me and I was seen by the physician there and uh, had very good care. Chet, by the way, is the clinical services manager and he's wonderful. It's just hard to deal with when you don't have insurance. So the clinic's always been there, always helped me. You walk in, the girls at the desk is always good to the people. Doctors is always good with the people. If you need it, other than um, medication, there's always prayer. If you need, you know, to pray for anybody or for yourself, uh, they'll pray for you, pray with you. It's always a good experience. I don't think I've ever had a bad experience in there. I didn't know who to turn to or who to call and I didn't want my brother to give up. So I contacted some friends at Kingsway Church and I said, do you have any idea? Guide me, point me in the right direction. And I was immediately told, call Kingsway Care Center. So I did. Um, I felt like I was treated just like it was just me. Um, that, you know, I was the only patient and um, I was given I feel like very personal service. I would encourage you to support the clinic. They provide a very necessary service in our community. Thank you very much for your support. If it wasn't for the clinic, I, I probably wouldn't be here now without my meds. They, they do a wonderful job getting my meds for me at a very low cost. Uh, anybody that got medical issues, don't have any kind of insurance, that would be the place to be. Everything's real discreet. Nobody knows what you pay, how you pay, or if you pay. Uh, it, it's all done very discreetly. So I called my brother. I said, we're going to the dentist tomorrow. He was skeptical, and he said, I'm not having all my teeth pulled, and if that's what they want, you can forget it. And I said, let's just go see. Let's go talk to them. So we went. They asked him to fill out some paperwork. They were very kind, and he kept reiterating, I have no money, I have no money. And they said, it's okay, let's just have you looked at? I sat in the um, waiting room while they saw my brother. The physicians are very kind and very concerned and they're willing to pray with you and that was that is very important to me. Prayer is everything. Um, you've got to keep your faith and the best way to keep your faith is through prayer. You don't know who's going to walk through those doors and need to hear those words. Can I pray with you about something? Can I pray for you? He had talked to someone at the care center and he came back and told my husband and I that, that they had low Lovenox injections at the care center and that um, when we left the hospital that we were to go pick them up and there was no charge. So, um, it was a huge relief and a huge blessing uh, just to know that because we didn't know where the money was going to come from. We didn't know where the shots were going to come from and, and it was something that he said that I needed. Um, and it all worked out. And then I heard 
uh, Dr. Driggers said, you know, I've been looking for somebody to care for in my practice and, and uh, we're going to take care of you. And my brother said, I have no money. He said, we're not worried about it. Let's not worry about that. And they cared for him. <laughs> and as we left, about a half an hour to an hour later, we're walking out to my car and my brother looked at me and he said, why would he do that? And my heart just leapt and I said, let me tell you why. He's showing you the love of Jesus. He's showing you how God loves us. That's why he's doing it. I talked to him last week and he said, hey, I just got a phone call from Dr. Drigger's office. And I said, you did? He said, yeah. He said, he wants to follow up. He wants me to come in. He said, why would he do that? I said, let me tell you why. <laughs> because he wants to care for you. He said, but I'm not sure that they understand. I said, they understand perfectly. They want to show you love. They want to show you God's love. You need to make the appointment for the follow-up. So he's going to. I don't know what my brother would have done without Kingsway Care Center. He may have chosen not to do the treatment. My brother's 55 years old. I can't imagine that he would have just let it go. But I think that's where he was, that he would have just let it go. So now he has a hope. And I can keep telling him of why they do what they do. That's what Kings, Kingsway Care Center is all about. And I'm forever grateful.